During 2019, Bogdan's publishing house must release at least two comics, in which the print quality will be a decisive factor for success. This artist intends to tell different stories not just in pictures, but in the form of oil paintings. You can put the painting directly in a picture and, and with draws too, and in computer. I am interested in, in make a mix between graphic novel and art book. Max Sear is a Chilean theater director and artist. His original production based on Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll impressed audiences in Central America, and the exhibitions of paintings that he used on stage were successfully held throughout Europe. But such an audience was still not enough for the artist. In the theater, it's very close and it's very powerful, I think, with the audience, but it's very limited to have like, a, I don't know, 100 sometimes two or three or five hundred. But in graphic novel, you, you go for a, a thousand of people in the same work. And I love the communication with the people. And then he met me, a man who loves graphic stories, so that the drawing had a continuation. And Max just painted so many pictures that it will not take place as an art book, and it will not fit into the exposition either. We seemed to be in the same time and one place with each other. A graphic novel is usually called a comic, where there is practically no text and the story is told visually or a strictly limited series. Max still wants to leave the text, but put it on separate pages, just like in an art book. At the same time, the comic should be complete and without explanation, so for the integrity of the narrative, Max has to specially finish making pictures of his Alice. Later, the Chilean director put Shakespeare's Hamlet, already with the expectation of a future graphic novel. Months of work in Lviv paid off. Max was especially impressed by the performance based on Lesy Ukrainka's forest song at the Les Kurbas Theater. I really surprised with the beautiful Ukrainian culture. It's uh, so amazing, maybe because it's very different. I am Latin American people. So when I come for this theater and I see this play, uh, I love all this place. It's very beautiful. And I love all Carpathian culture. Inspired by it, Max Sir undertook the third project. So far, he's drawn actors in stage costumes, but exactly what will come of this? Who knows? This project is born like two weeks ago, something like that. So it's a very young project, and, and we will see. I think it's more like an art book about the Ukrainian culture, yeah, because it's very beautiful and I use this place like a model too. No matter what happens in the end, under the terms of the agreement with Bogdan, the first projects of the Chilean artists will be seen in Ukraine, in the Ukrainian language, and only then, perhaps, all over the world. The publisher supports the fact that these shelves are filled with exciting Ukrainian comics. There should be twice as many this year.